Okay, so last time uh, when we were running the DI2 cable down the frame here, let me zoom out. Um, so you, you can see the DI2 cable coming out from the bottom bracket down there. And on the top, I have the, um, the SD30 converter, right? Which you can see uh, here, I have the new type. Uh, let me zoom in. Um, SD 200, uh, 300 cable and here I have the old type, the thicker SD50. So I'm going to, uh, I just bought this extension so I can connect that part with the junction box up here. So let me do that now. So first part is I'm just going to uh, push it down here on the SD30. Okay, so here the click, and then over up here, push this in to the box, to, uh, and this is a JC41. Okay, nice click. So they're good to go, and now, now I can finally push this part into the frame. feeling in the bottom to see which part is the part coming from the front. Oh, I think it's actually getting a little bit stuck here. Oh, because of the, the hydraulic cable. Okay, so I'm going to push it in over here. And use the actually brake cable to free this up. And that part is in. Okay, good. So that is the front cable. So um, and before I push further, I'll also put another one of this clip up here so that um, just goes nicely into... Actually, you know what? I don't think I wanted to do it. So that because once I put this in, it could be a little bit hard to come out. Um, and I think I want a little bit of play. So let's do that and just go to pull this cable in. Okay, so that's my um, my front cable. And the next thing I'm going to do is to basically get all this wire cell in the back here. So let me um, zoom a little bit. So you can see what I'm working on. So now I have to fish all of those wire up the seat posts. Um, so I'm going to use something like this. And this is what I typically use to fish electric hook uh, cable. Just going to stick the thing down here into the camo on the bottom. Okay, here we go. So actually, you can see there's a camera in the bottom. And all right, so I have all the, the cables reconnected we we again. So what happens was that the uh, the front derailleur cable is actually quite short. So I actually tape it on the on 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 the on right at the hole instead of uh, further out to make sure I got enough um, enough cable that I can pull up. So I'll start pulling up again here. I'm just going to lift it away from the from the railway. And just a little bit gently up here because I think some of this cable are just a tiny bit tight. Uh, can see pretty much off them out here now. Okay, so. Okay. 
actually for some of the cable there's just looks like there's just enough barely enough space up here so i will disconnect them and and, ju and there's just barely enough um length to go up here so you can see like one of them has come out and like Two of them has came out, and then the third one was. Uh, oh, actually, all three of them are here, but they're just fair. They're almost at the top, but not quite. So I'll see if I can still um, pull them up a little bit more. Okay, so the last part that we left off was I got this wire going from the front through the bottom bracket, and I'm trying to hook it up with the battery. But it's just not really long enough, right? Um, so you can see here, the wires goes about here, which is long enough to connect the battery when it is fully inserted into the seat post, but not high enough that, and I want it just to, uh, just to go a little bit longer. So I got two, two options, right? Um, one was to replace the, um, the SC50 that I have up here. I got a 30, uh, a 35, centimeter wire or i can extend the one in the back and when i purchased this sd50 i actually got the wrong part i actually got the, the sd300 here um so i should have to buy this part again and and i don't want to waste this uh, sd300 right so what i'm doing now is to uh instead i brought a junction which is a little bit cheaper than um buying a longer wire plus i'm not going to throw this away so it's less waste so I'm just going to show you how I'm going to hook this up, right? Um, so the JC302 um, is a connector for connecting to um, SD300 wire. So I'm just going to move it a little bit closer up here so that you can see. And it's relatively simple to hook this together. So again, I'm using um, the, uh, the SD300 uh, wire too. And what I'm going to do here is um, on one end, actually, let me connect this part so you can see a little bit better. So I'm just going to hook this up like this. Um, you know, just inserting the wire into the tool here. Likewise. And then I'm just going to push this into one end of the adapter until you hear click. Okay, just like this. And then I'll repeat the same thing down here. So it's connected and that should be long enough to go up there um, so what I'm going to do now is to um, add a couple more wire holders uh, this step is not really necessary but I typically like to do it so that um, these wires, when they're inside the seat tube, it just won't flop around so much. So I'm just going to add one here and just kind of click on um, the SD300. And for this guy, I probably just need, a, just need a couple more. Okay, I'm just going to put one more up here. Okay, and now it's the uh, exciting part of fishing this wire up again. So uh, it actually would be easier if I do it this way. Okay. And then I'm just going to um, pick up the bottom part of this.
just going to do it very gently. Here we go. I got the wires out here. I'm just going to run the rest of this um, through. Make sure this is tight. I'm just also going to pull it a little bit from the front. Okay. All right. So now I got the the free wires coming out on the back. And the next thing is to connect this to the battery on the seat post. So I already have another video showing you how I connect this uh, SD300 um, um, battery, um, sorry, the BTDN300 battery into the Safero um, factory seat post. So this is where the battery is. And if I pull this out, you can see that um, actually quite snug which is the way I like it but um so here you go you can see that the battery is uh, is inside the zippos right so this is where the DN300 is and I'm just going to pop it back into the zippos and what I'm going to do now is to connect these three um SD 300 wires into um, into the battery, and that means all this wire will now be power. Um, and then I'm going to uh, insert the seat post back in place. So um, so let me do that. So one thing I've done is to reapply some carbon paste. Um, so I'm using the Park Tool SAC2. Um, as you can see, like it, I just applying kind of kind of like the fresh layer of it. Uh, before I reinsert it into the seat tube. And I'm going to remove this, um, basically, uh, bracket here that's going to lock in the seat tube. All right, and now I'm going to connect the battery, uh, the wires one by one into the battery. So I'll start with this guy. So this is the wires um, coming in from the front. Okay, that's done. And then um, I forgot which one is the front or the rear derailleur, but, but these are the derailleur's wires. And final one here. You can see that all three wires are now connected. So I'm not going to insert the, the seat post back in. trim my seat post to my height so by pushing it all the way in it will fit exactly my height and um, and I'm just going to insert this part here and then when you tighten this up so I believe this is the H4 yeah, I have H5 here, and basically it's a um, tighten up to uh, 8 Newton meter. Just going to just 
tool and just going to wash like um, so I'm using a silker top wrench here and I'm just going to read the marker here to see uh, yeah, so I got the 8 here okay so it's about 6 I'm just going to look on the other side so the marker is over here for 8 just want to make sure I got okay perfect so now the zip post is in. I can also remove this tape that I put here initially for measuring the length of the tube. So um, so now the next thing is for me, I'll probably work on the brakes next and then I will um, hook up the, uh, the, the derailleurs to the, um, set up the derailleurs, plug in their, the DI2 wires, um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Okay, so one problem that I have after I feed all the wires was that I find out um, that, you know, under, in, in, in the bottom bracket, there's a cover and it looks something like this. And the cover itself, there's nothing really um, holding on to the cover. So I can't just screw it back in because it, it basically rely on the um, the, the brake cables, uh, what used to be the mechanical brake cables going through them to hold it in place. So what I need to do now is to uh, basically widen, um, you know, the holes down here. You can see that this hole is super small. It was designed for mechanical brake cable. So I basically use the 1364 drill bit to widen this other hole. Uh, and also widen the channel inside here um, so that you know I can uh, push the cable through so I'm using the front brake cable as a test so as you can see here now I can um, I can at least you know insert the cable through the bottom uh, this bottom bracket cover um, and the idea is I still need to figure out how to bend it because it's definitely not as bendable as the mechanical cable. But the idea is I'll I'll have to redo the rear brake cable so that I'll bend it and basically use the brake cable to hold this cover in place. And then I'll slot this cover back in under the bottom bracket. And then I, I can then screw on the cover. Um, so, uh, so this is something that I missed when I, I just didn't really think about this too much, uh, but it turned out to be an issue. And uh, so I have to redo um, <coughs> the, the bottom, the, uh, the rear brake cable here, which actually I think I did a really good job like running it and I'm not looking forward to running this cable again. Um, but I guess that's what I need to do. Okay, so after going through some painful exercise, I have the rear brake cable uh, we run, uh, we're working again. And uh, let me see, show you what I've done here. So, um, so basically you can see that I have um, the bracket in place. Let me hold my bike here. Um, and, um, and I have to basically we, um, use a drill bit to widen this part. Uh, let me see if I can give you a better view here. Um, so I basically have to, um, no, it's not in focus. Let's see if I can do this. Maybe zoom in a little bit more. Okay, good. So, um, so you can see I've re completely rerun the, um, I've made the bracket a lot wider and now I have the hydraulic brake cable going through here. And it was a pain to put this all back in, but at least now you can see that the bracket is now held in place because it's really, the only thing holding it in place is the brake cable. So um, the friction of the brake cable, right? So now I have the hydraulic cable back here um, and then I'm going to put the cover on. Um, and one additional thing that I've done is on the top, I also add on labels. So I know which one is the front, front um, which was the front derailleur, rear derailleur and the shifter. And I think that's one detail that I forgot to add in that I think will be useful in the long term. So now I'm going to put the, uh, the seat post back on again uh, and then I'll be done and now I can really work on um, the brake, uh, uh, replacing the brake calibers next. Thank you.